the worst in the country when it comes to gun laws. That same research also shows that fewer gun deaths correlate relate to tighter gun laws in communities. Thoughts and prayers. I'm sick of thoughts and prayers. We need action. Utah Senator Derek Kitchen says now is the time for common sense change in Utah. This morning I had a friend come to me sobbing. She dropped her three-year-old toddler off at daycare, looking him in the eyes, knowing that she could not protect him. Kitchen says his bill is simple. What it will do is increase the age by which somebody can uh, procure a firearm from 18 years old to 21 years old. Representative Steve Ellison says the problem lies in mental health and firearm locks, not guns. Continuing the education about uh, safely storing firearms. We've distributed hundreds of thousands of trigger locks, biometric gun safes. Is something that we know that works. Every town research, the largest gun violence prevention organization in the country, breaks down gun law rankings by state on criteria like domestic violence gun laws, certain open carry regulations, certain child access prevention laws, state database background checks. Allison Anderman with Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence says Utah doesn't have universal background checks, gun owner licensing, lost and stolen firearm reporting or extreme risk protection orders, all things that are proven to lower gun violence. We have data to show that most of the policies that we advocate for are effective at reducing gun deaths. And according to Giffords, a study of offenders incarcerated for crimes with firearms found that 17% would not have had access to a gun if the legal purchase age would have been 21. Data also suggests 18 to 20 year olds account for only 4% of the U.S. population, but account for 17% of homicides. Kitchen believes passing his bill would save lives. We have a strong gun lobby in the United States, and at this point, uh, we need to make sure that we're protecting our kids as firmly as we are protecting our guns. Well, Representative Elison told KSL 5 today that his focus will be on mental health and gun safety. Mike? A lot of people seem to agree changes need to be made. It's just uh, what changes need to be made, where and how. And that's really, if we had that figured out, we wouldn't be in this situation. Mm -hmm. Debbie, thank you. While Utah has been spared from these tragedies in recent years, there have been 27 school shootings in America already this year.